Hello YouTube, let's quickly explore the Apple intelligence which is out on iOS 18.1 beta 1. This LLM runs on device as you can see and presently only works on iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max. Last month WWDC Apple presented its own AI called Apple intelligence. So to run this you need to be on 15 Pro or Pro Max or M series iPad and Max. So if you're on market for a new iPhone, so please don't get the 15. So wait for the 16. It should be out in two months now and that should get the Apple intelligence. So first, let's see how to get this. Well, you need to enable beta updates and select iOS 18 developer beta channel. Then you should get an update that says iOS 18.1 beta. Just download it. So once you go into the settings, then to apple intelligence and siri so if you are in india or unsupported countries it should show this message so just go and change your region to united states and once that is done also you need to change the language to english united states so that's it and boom you will get the join the waitlist option so select that and now i've joined the waitlist and just wait for a few minutes and once you come back it should be in there boom it's there now we are not getting all the apple intelligence features in first beta so here are the five features that we got so number one is call recording so finally iphones can record your call so you have an option on top of the screen so as you can see here then click on continue and once you do that, you get an announcement for both the parties that this call would be recorded. So that is good thing and that's good for privacy. And also you get the transcription going on. As you can notice, the voice is being recorded and also it's been transcribed at the real time. So let's see how it does. So let's stop the recording and we have the transcription ready over here. And we can see the call duration and also the audio file being saved. And when I click on it, yeah, I can see all the transcription details here. Number two is writing tools. Here is a cool demo. So I typed up some message. It's really rude. So I just want to change that. I go into the writing tools and I just click on rewrite and it gives me a warning and boom, it rewrites the message in a very polite tone. So I can just send this one and so this is a great feature so it's called writing tools there are multiple options so if i want to sound professional i can do that with just a click of a button so you no longer have to go to chat gpt to do all these things so you can do this on device and also you can concise the things so you can make it into points or like you can also add it to table so there are a multiple options so as you can choose from here so i changed this to key points so I can do it something like this so it don't, not just works on smaller things so even if you have a big text so if you want to do uh, like a cleanup kind of thing so it will do so as you can notice here I converted it into a table so this is really a cool feature and also now you can see in notes also we have the same uh, option available so I can go to the more options and click on writing tools so I have a pretty big uh, paragraph over here so if i want to summarize this so i can do that with just a click and all these things are happening right on your device so it's not being sent to cloud or anything like that so that's the reason we require a iphone 15 pro or pro max with 8 gigabytes of ram and it's doing it pretty fast and there is no lag so i can just feel a bit of a heat but that's fine and no major issues Coming to number three is reduce interruptions focus mode. So this is a new focus mode. So you go on to the settings app and then you get into focus and you see a reduce interruptions focus mode. So this is an intelligent AI focus mode. So once you set up the people and apps that you wanted to be uh, notified of, so you get it and it's intelligently it uh, cancels out the notifications that is not relevant at this point of time. Number four is transcription and summarization. So first let's see the summary. So for that, let me go into the mail app and let me open one mail 
and on top you have the summarize option and once i click on that so whatever mail content that i have i'll get a summary of it so this is really helpful when reading like large emails so this only works on the uh, inbuilt app and now coming to the transcription so go into the voice memos and you have an option here so once you click on that and it should take you to the transcription but right now it's not been enabled and the last but not least one is new siri ui it's just the ui and not the siri 2.0 so once you click on the siri button you get this cool new animation that covers the entire screen and you get the result over there siri i thought it's apple intelligence here's what i found so definitely there is some scope for improvement over here and finally let's see the overall performance so first let's see the battery life so i'm getting more or less the same amount of battery life that i was getting with the ios 18 beta the last developer beta so there is no change in that and also the battery health has been degraded uh, quite a while so it was 99 for some time and uh, it has drastically reduced but that's with all the 15 pro series which i seeing in twitter so let's see some performance difference so let me run the geekman 6 benchmark test and once i go back home let's see the results okay so the results is considerably less when i compared with the ios 17 scores maybe because i am running the all these ai models and it's taking up a lot of heat so i can feel heat on my hand and that's the reason maybe the score is lower so it has thermally throttled itself but yeah like once it's out of beta or like once the newer beta comes it should improve quite a thing and so also let's see uh, what is the storage which this uh, large language model is taking so it's on device so the chat gpt thing so that is still coming soon so right now it's just the apple intelligence so let me go into ios and the apple intelligence is taking 2.86 gigabytes right now and that should be fine finally on to the conclusion should you upgrade to ios 18.1 developer beta yes if you want to try out apple intelligence it's pretty stable apart from few bugs here and there and future beta should bring in more features which is advertised and also add on to the stability part so the second question is it good to buy iphone 15 pro or pro max now i would say yes if you are getting it on a discounted price as there is no much changes rumored to coming to the next uh, pro series iphones that if you are planning to get the regular iphone 15 and if you want apple intelligence it's best to wait for just two months from now and you'll be getting iphone 16 that gets the apple intelligence so that's all i had in this video thank you for watching subscribe